Good morning. This is Catch Your Queen to the Vine Reading. Today is Monday. The first card I pull is the Nine of Wands. This is about being guarded, having caution and discernment. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Some things you can't change. Guidance. In times of uncertainty, I ask God to guide me to the light in my being. I am directed to doors that will open inner freedom to me and step forward in trust. I release my faith to God and my faith is rewarded. Five of Wands. This is about challenges in the struggle and growth. Sometimes being pulled in two different directions. Surrender stubbornness. If you're tissing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielded. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Gratitude. I am aware of the light in my life. I direct my thoughts to the beauty in and around me. I give thanks to God for every little thing that brings me joy. Thus, I enlighten my thoughts, which is surround me, and I appreciate all that life brings me. Having gratitude for what you have. Six of Pentacles. This is about balance, fairness. Power. Surrender your need to be always to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. So I've been told you don't always have to be right. Manifestation of light. I see the beauty in me. I grow and develop my inner self in harmony with light and beauty. I free myself from negativity. My heart transforms. My intellect shines. And my inner light glows. Ten of Cups. This is about fulfillment, perfection, love, and joy. Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. Success. I grow and thrive in the universe. I discover the purity of my heart and the higher wisdom that guides me toward victory. I direct my thoughts toward clarity and nurture wisdom, love, and goodness within me. I am free now and I succeed in my life. The central sun, abundance, downloads, regeneration, and success. Connect. Visualize yourself diving into until you find yourself arriving at the sun in the center of the galaxy of your being. Invite it to encode your frequency with regeneration energy. Your message. 
<clears throat> the bright central sun is shining brightly in your life and upon your world. This is time to regenerate. Tiredness and old energy are being washed away. Old skins have peeled off to reveal a sacred and more aligned you. This is an exciting time. Central sun energy is magnetic and all powerful, opening up to the light and supporting you as you express your own light in this lifetime. New ideas, opportunities, and experiences come easily to you at this time. Like the sun kissing the perfectly ripe soil, the seeds you have planted or being encouraged to grow. Realize that in order to go beyond your horizon, it's important for you to welcome energetic exchanges. When you help others, you let yourself be helped in return. When you invest energy in projects, you let energy be invested in yourself. Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus brings divine perception, protection, and insight. You are gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight, that are awakening and growing now. You have much divine support and protection so that you may grow your abilities and serve others with your divine gifts. Trust your perception and know that you are divinely protected. And that is your ring for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.